connected to Miami, of course, is Nikosi Perry, who made his decision to go to FAU. And I wanted to get your thoughts on on that move because we've got a quarterback who did not excel at Miami. He had his games. He had his spots. Certainly, um, I, it was great to see, as you've outlined here, him go out on a high note despite the loss, bringing that team back and really playing well in the bowl game against Oklahoma State. And, um, you know, he did good things uh, where he was there at Miami, but, um, you know, would have never been a top-line starter at that level. But uh, he goes to FAU, and uh, how do you see his skill set fitting in? I think he would definitely thrive in that type of market, that type of environment. It was so beautiful to see the love from this fan base towards Nikosi Perry. Um, do a lot of people think that he was given a fair shake? Probably not. But are the QBs on the roster right now better than him? Yes. And he was didn't complain. He made mistakes. He continued to work on himself, and now he gets a chance. He gets two years to go to FAU and be the best QB that he can be. And more likely than not, stand out in a certain against certain a certain level of talent. I mean, you're going to be playing Old Dominion and Western Kentucky and Central Michigan and uh, Eastern uh, Michigan. You're going to be playing FIU teams of that nature. So it's a little bit different, you know. It's it's a little different than your North Carolinas, your NC States, your Clemsons, and your Tallahassees and your Dukes, your Georgia Techs. So you're taking just another a little bit of step down, and if he continues to go up, 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 get even better. I think he's going to get some really good QB coaching, um, and he's going to play in basically a spread, a big spread, four wide and a tight end, four wide and a back, and he's going to be able to put that cannon to use in open space. Um, there now. There's rumors that there are a couple current Kings that will be following him to FAU. I'm not going to give any names, but there's been uh, there's been some conversations. So I, I think that also would be such a great move for those young men um, to go in and make themselves better. Or if they stay and work their behind off and continue to get better at Miami. But QB is a little different. It's only one of them that plays. Uh, almost every other position gets to rotate. If you're rotating QBs, probably not the best idea. I've seen it work, but probably not the best idea. But you can rotate receivers. You can rotate tight ends. You can rotate – heck, you can even rotate some O-linemen if you want to, if it's really that dire. Running backs rotate by nature. DBs and, and everyone in defense rotates with no problem. So um, I think Nikosi Perry is a young man that is loved by this fan base very appreciative of what he gave us. And we'll always remember him breaking the home losing streak to those people in Tallahassee. Even though he was like 13 of 32 in that game, <laughs> it was some really bad completion percent, <laughs> but he made the throws that mattered. Yeah. And when it did, he, he put him in position to come back and win 28-27. He's been a part of every one of their losses. 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21 to be. And we're happy for him. He's 4-0. He's 4-0 versus those people, Mark. <laughs> That's a good career to me. That's yeah. a good career to me. Absolutely.